Aha. Hello, my fellow diesel heater fans. Um, I'm just going to make a very reasonably quick, brief, brief video. Just come out into the garage and to make some space. I've got car issues. My old X5 E53 has failed the MOT on its uh, rear subframe, so I need to fix that. Got a big hole in it. Um, my E63 635D has got an oil leak. Uh, so I'm using that as my daily at the moment. That's got an oil leak and gases us out when we uh, take it for a drive. My wife's um, 520D, um, that uh, needs a handbrake doing for the next MOT. It's only braking on one side. So I need to come out to the garage just to uh, make a bit of space in the garage really to work on cars. And while I was in the garage, well I'm in the garage now, but while I, when I got in here, I had to move one of my previous projects out and um, all of a sudden sort of a penny dropped really regarding this uh, burning waste motor oil for me anyway um, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to uh, pursue unless somebody comes up and makes some really good progress I'm not really sure how much more I'm going to time I'm going to plow into the burning waste motor oil on Chinese diesel heaters so let me explain uh, I'm just going to flip the camera over and uh, you'll all be horrified at what you're going to see. Bosh, there we are. So this is a previous project I made. This is a waste diesel, a waste engine oil burner I made based on some designs I'd seen on YouTube and on the internet. So uh, let me explain. It's an oil drum, um, which I can seal off. I've got a, uh, a locking ring, which I can put around the top, seal it off. I've got a, uh, a small blower motor there, which produces the air for the combustion. I've got a large blower motor there, which the idea is it blows the air across the, uh, the burner, which is inside, housed inside the oil drum. And then we've got a port here, which is where your hot air escapes. I built various um, interlocks. Well, look inside it in a second. And we'll get to the point but i built various interlocks on it to try and make it safe so this mechanism here is a flap which is solenoid um, operated there as a solenoid there um, and the idea is that when the uh, electro basic electronics i've built which we'll come to in a minute senses a problem it closes and uh, supposedly blocks off the uh, the outlet um, another interlock i had was down here there was a vacuum pipe so if the um if the um combustion blower failed um a sensor in the uh, electronics would switch everything down you'll probably hear that let me just uh, make sure blow it too hard yep so that's now and now good um so that just basically measures the, um, uh, the pressure from the blower motor, the combustion blower motor, and shuts everything down if it doesn't see a little bit of pressure there. There's motor speed controllers, various interlocking. Um, and that's the front of the panel. And the idea was you press the button, which overrode all the interlocks um, to get it up and running. And then when you released it, if everything was working how it should and it saw all the proper parameters coming into it, it carried on running. And if it didn't see everything coming back to it, it would just, just um, switch off. Um, so that's that. I am going to come to a point in a minute, what's um, something I've been thinking about today. Just stick that over there for now. So... Here's my oil drum. We're going to remove the chimney. Uh, so that's obviously the exhaust. This is where I drip fed um, oil down into the uh, burner. And that is what was inside the oil drum. So it's an old uh, pet. Uh, pot belly stove I believe they're called oh, battery power 
Excellent. I'm going to have to come back in a minute. Excuse me. Right. <clears throat> Where were we? So, oops. I might have much luck today, actually. I'm not very uh, organised today. Had a heavy night on the uh, beer and curry last night. And uh, I'm not really with it at the moment, to be honest. So, um, where were we? I'm just going to turn this round. There we go. We've got a little bit more light. So this is a potbelly stove inside a sealed, semi reasonably sealed um, oil drum. Um, and the uh, air for the uh, combustion chamber comes in from that blower along here and down. This is where the um, drip feed for the oil comes in. Pot belly stove, gets nice and hot and get it cherry red pretty quickly. The air from the um, clean air from the fan there, the blower, blows across the pot belly stove, comes in down the bottom there, if you can see that opening, comes across the, uh, the pot belly stove, which is red hot, and then the resulting warm air comes through there and goes out to the wherever you want it in your house so that was the idea um various tests with this and it all, all worked pretty well but i was never sure really I, did, I didn't want to put it in the house obviously so the idea was i was going to have it out in the drive um and then um uh, pump the air through into my basement into my ducting network into my basement through the house Mrs. wasn't that keen on it, and I'm not really that keen on it, if I'm totally honest. There's a lot of risk. And although I've made various interlocks, and it was going to be a smoke detector and everything else, um, carbon monoxide detector incorporated into the safety system, you never know, do you? Um, and then, of course, I discovered, that's how windy it is here. Look, the wind's blowing through there, making that um, snail blower go in, in reverse. That's mad, isn't it? Um, uh so then i discovered by accident the chinese diesel heaters and thought that uh, maybe just bring you back i thought maybe we'd have a go at the chinese diesel heaters and try and get them running on vegetable oil on um waste oil vegetable and engine if i'm honest so we all know what's um, happened since then really just come out into the garage today as i say have a bit of a tidy up um i've got various vehicles i need to uh make some space for now um get some other work done uh it's too cold to work outside i'm getting old so um i moved this and it was when i moved this all of a sudden something dawned on me so we're going to open this up there's the pot body pot belly stove in there we'll open that up can't really see a lot it's just reaching and i'm going to grab the burn pot from the pot belly stove from this now the last time i used this i only had it running for about two hours or so maximum and look that is the debris just from a couple of hours of running so this has got me thinking really you know is it ever going to work is it ever going to be practical for me to burn this sort of oil and i haven't really got the time to piss around filtering loads of it to any sort of great degree i don't mind pushing it through a filter and getting rid of the worst of the debris but the point is this thing burnt incredibly hot that cast iron stove inside was burning cherry red um the burn temperature was immense really immense um and it's still although it was obviously vaporizing that engine oil i've still been left with that after a couple of hours um burn so it's got me thinking really you know maybe a waste oil um burner is one thing which this is and it works perfectly it needs refining but it works perfectly but is it really practical i hate to say this to keep on messing around with the chinese diesel heater and trying to get it to run on waste motor oil it runs okay on vegetable oil which i can get hold of waste vegetable oil with a reasonable bit of thinning out and cleaning um so i'm starting to question really whether it's worth how much effort i'm putting in um on the chinese diesel heater heater really 
I hate to say that as well, because I um, first put my hands up, I've actually criticised some people when they said, you know, it's designed to run on diesel, why are you pissing around? And I've just sort of started to think really today, I've got so many other jobs I need to do, I need to do, can I really justify spending so much time and effort on this stuff, trying to work out how I'm going to do um, to run? Obviously, somebody might come up with a, a different system, and you might think I might think, hey, it's worth playing around with it. But I don't know. I was thinking that somebody else actually mentioned this on one of my posts somewhere else. You know, maybe it's worth drip feeding oil into a different point of the Chinese diesel heater's burn chamber so making a different sort of port to drip the oil in once it's running. And it's something I've been thinking about. But then, if it produces that much carbon and soot on something like this, which is vaporising the oil as soon as it goes down, you know, you're always going to be taking it to bits cleaning it, aren't you? Cleaning that, that crap out. So I'm just sort of wondering, really, whether it's worth it. I don't know. Just food for thought. Be interested uh, to know people's comments. Right, have a good day and uh, enjoy the uh, rest of the break. Cheers.